here's how to make a heart-shaped rainbow bookcase for Valentine's Day. So for Valentine's this year, I wanted to turn my usual rainbow bookcase into a heart-shaped one. I've got this amazing Billy bookcase, which is super tall and super wide, and it's perfect, the perfect blank canvas for creating rainbow bookcases. I took my inspiration from a lot of those Christmas themed bookcases I've seen everywhere. Lots of people have created beautiful trees out of turning the spines the other way. What I've tried to do is work on the theme for Valentine's Day. I was born on Valentine's Day. I'm a Valentine's Day baby. I wanted to create something special. Okay, so hearts, red, I had all the ideas. And for once, I thought what I'll do is actually create this bookcase. I didn't just want it to be like something that I kept in my notes on my phone or an idea for Notion. I wanted to make it happen and I've made it happen, although it took a long time. So my top tip to start with is to make sure you've got time to do this. I did this over three days. It's been very bad, dark, wintry weather in the UK. So I had to kind of wait until the weather was as nice as possible. It's beautiful and sunny today, but I've still got a million lights on to try and make it look nice. The other days I've been filming have been really dark. So I just had small pockets of time that I could try and do this bookcase. So I reckon altogether it would take you a good day to take all of your books off, rearrange them and put them back on again. It may take you less time if you've got a smaller space, of course, or if you're doing a little bit less about filming it. It did take me quite a while to do all the photos and everything else. So it could be possible to do this in a shorter amount of time. I would make sure that you always plan any rainbow bookcase before you start. With this particular one, I thought it through my head so much before I even picked up a single book. So I thought about a few different ways that I could have gone about this and it all depending on how many books I got and what kind of shapes they were. In the end, I decided to use all of the rainbow books I'd got, so all of the colourful books, to create the heart shape. And on the edges, I would have black and white books. So it was very obvious, the contrast. My idea was that in that way, I could stack up colourful books to fill those shelves so that there wasn't loads of gapping around it. And my original idea was that I wanted to put the black and white books all the way flush to the heart, but as it happens, I kind of did run out of books. So I went with the option that would give me the most flexibility, which was I could have made this heart smaller, but I worked with the books I had. So here it is. The best thing I think I did was to take all of the books off before I started. I originally thought that I could get away with leaving them where they were, but actually it's just not possible. Just is really not possible. I did try a little bit, but it failed. So I took all of the books off and started with a clean slate. Where I started was with the red ones at the top. The red is like the top of the rainbow, it's the top of my heart. And I created the two kind of semicircles at the top with a little stack on either side. One thing to note with this is you're always gonna need symmetry. You're not likely to have two of the same books, but you'll have similar books. So you'll find yourself kind of thinking, ooh, that would really work on one side and knowing that you have to recreate it on the other. There's always something that will even out. I also ran out of red books, as you can see, fairly early. But that's not necessarily a massive problem because I just moved into the other complementary colours. And actually, in this sense, you can't really tell. I've like mixed and matched a little bit within this heart, uh, but it still maintained its structure. Maintaining the structure is an important thing. So you can see that I've got the stacks of books. Like I said, I use the smaller books and stack them together to create a nice flush heart. So the middle of the heart is like a core, like it's really, really structured and really centered and really full. And then towards the edges to create the shape around it, I've used bigger books and then gone out to smaller books in most instances. It is obviously the cha most challenging bit, looking like a heart. And honestly, halfway through, it did not look like a heart, I nearly gave up, but persevere, persevere. It's a little bit of a challenge. It's like, it's almost like doing the crystal maze or something. It's like, it's more of a mental challenge than it is just doing a bookcase. It's worth it, it was all worth it. You may find that you don't have as many colorful books as you think you do. In this instance, which I had, I ended up finishing with black ones at the bottom. There's only a few black ones, but I kind of, I just basically run out of books. I'm not really suggesting that you go out and run out and buy books. I think we're probably best working with what we have. Yeah, you might just have to adjust the shape to the number of books that you've got 
in the colour you've got available. I really like having the neutral kind of books around the sides and need the storage space and it looks nice too. I'll be honest with you, when I first finished this heart, I did a little before and after video. So I, I quickly put them together in InShot to see what they'd look like. And I was disappointed with the results. I was really disappointed that the heart just didn't look quite heart shaped enough. I was also stood in front of it when I did the after, so you couldn't really tell that it was a heart. So on the third day I was working on this project, I went off to the supermarket and I bought flowers to finish it off. So I bought quite a few different types. I bought tulips, I bought roses, I got them in pinks and reds, and I got different size vases too, so I could mix and match. I didn't want to make it look like it wasn't a book case, but I also just needed to give it that little bit of an extra zhuzh. It just seemed a little bit on the dry side. So I added those in. I hope you like them. I do actually, I really like the flowers. I may have overdone it with the lights and I'll let you be the judge of that. They have helped in a very dark time to create the shape of the heart and to add some much needed light because it is a very dark day. But I don't know whether it kind of overdoes it and it doesn't really need it. So it's nice and cozy for winter. I just basically tacked it on with a little bit of tape and created the shape by popping it underneath the books here and there. Quite low maintenance on the lighting front. This is just a clear, a clear like a white cable and white light. So it doesn't really interfere too much with my rainbow. The jewelry's out for me. I, I like it, but I'm not like in love with it. I wish it was sunnier, so you didn't need all this help, extra help, but it is winter and here we are. That's it, that's my heart-shaped rainbow bookcase. I hope you have a go, let me know if you do. And if you wanna see the original video, which is just creating a straightforward rainbow bookcase with all the information on how to like do your blocks and sizes and colors and shades and everything, I'll link it below too. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy Valentine's Day.